Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some yarny goodness. Hello, this is Pamela, and you are on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Welcome to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, my channel is all about crochet. Um, I come to you from Central Arkansas, and um, I'd just like to show off um, a few things that I have that actually they would be my finished objects and um, and some happy mail. So um, how about I go ahead and start with the happy mail. We all like happy mail, right? Um, let me get my stuff here. <laughs> okay, I got this beautiful card in the mail today and I'm so excited over it. Uh, you made my day. It's, uh, it says, made by Marcia Mom. Uh, sending you a cup of love. And it's all the way from Florida. Ah, how cool is that? Um, and on the back, it has a stamp that says, hugs enclosed. And um, this is just beautiful. The card is a handmade card. It says, thinking of you. Isn't that just beautiful? Ah. Uh, it is just beautiful. And when you open it on the inside, we have some tea. I'm gonna have to try this tonight. Matter of fact, I'll probably go try it right after this video. Um, so we have some tea and there are like little hearts, little cut out hearts. Isn't that cute? Inside the card. So, um, I'm not going to read what was on the inside because I feel like it's, you know, just a personal note. But um, I just want to say thank you. And um, I really appreciate this. I mean, this was just beautiful. I love it. I love what you wrote on the inside. And um, I'm so thankful that you watch my channel and that you enjoy watching my channel. And um, I watched your video today, by the way. And uh, I liked it, so um, I am fixing to watch some more of your videos. And um, I just just want to say thank you. That really meant a lot to get a sweet little card like that, and especially it being handmade. I mean, how cool is that? So um, the next thing I want to show you guys, uh, it's not crochet related, but it's my Ipsy bag. You guys know I subscribe to this makeup. Like, I really need more makeup. I basically only wear on my makeup, I wear foundation, uh, lip liner and lipstick. Sometimes I wear the eyeshadow. I like the eyeshadows when I do my videos because I just feel like it makes me look pretty, you know, when I have the eyeshadow on. But I don't really wear the eyeshadow too much um, besides doing my videos. Um, and then I wear a little eyeliner and mascara and that's all I wear. I don't wear powder or, you know, concealers and, you know, I don't wear all that stuff. I just, it's just basic makeup, but I still love makeup. Anyway, so that's what it come in or came in and look at this bag. Isn't this just cute? I just thought it was just adorable and I like the little uh, zipper tab on it. So, when I open it up inside, I got all kinds of little goodies. First of all, I got this little box right here, and I was like, hmm, a square box. What could be in that thing? It says that it is superfood air whip moisture cream. It has kale, spinach, hydronic acid, hop. I'm not saying that word right, guys. That word is not right. How about I see if I can hold it up and uh, maybe you can pronounce it. I don't know if you can see it. But it's H-Y-A-L-U-R-O-N-I-C. There you go. I really don't even know what that means. But this is it. And it's a... Um, moisture cream. So I will try that out. It comes with a, it looks like maybe an eyebrow, I mean eyebrow, um, hmm, 
Or is it right up there? Right there. I just said that. Ah. <laughs> oh wow, it's spring. Okay, eyeshadow. The eyeshadow brush. <laughs> Gosh. Um, and it looks like eyeliner. So you guys, you know, I just told you what kind of makeup that I normally put on every day. And so far, look, two of the things that I would use are in this bag. How cool. Okay. Um, it says, pores be gone, matte primer with fig extract, oil-free, safe for sensitive skin. I will probably give this to my teenage nieces in the family because I'm sure they probably need that. So I'll give that to them. And it came with a moisturizing lipstick. So let's just open this baby up and see what kind of lipstick I've got in here. Um, you know how the plastic likes to stick, right? All right. Oh, good, it's my color. Woo, thank goodness. It says this on it, real her. Real her, and it's little. Oh yeah, that is definitely my color. See, it's my color. I'm gonna like this. This is going to go in my purse for when I'm out. And it's moisturizer lipstick. So anyway, so then it comes with this card and it tells you all about staying, um, I'm gonna say moisturize, um, yeah, maximizing your SPF inside there. And the little bag has the little Ipsy symbol, little tag in there, little leather tag. Anyway, so I just wanted to share that with you guys because I love my Ipsy bag. Um, so it looks like I have a couple of things I'm probably going to give to my nieces. But overall, um, I keep these. Oh, and I forgot the tag that say Ipsy on it. I keep these for notions and stuff like that. Um, so they come in handy. So I don't, I'm not getting it just for the makeup. I feel like I'm getting something else in its place as well. Um, okay, so the other thing I wanted to show you, Happy Mail. And um, I don't know, you know, about it yet, but I've got my Amazon box in. And this was um, my chargeable, rechargeable um, light-up hooks. I have not read the instructions yet. I hope there are instructions to it. But anyway, this is it right here. This is what I got. These are all my hooks. But it came with all this extra stuff too. Isn't that cool? So, um, I did try this out. This is the main hook. I did try it out, and I do like the way it feels. I don't have that harsh part um, up against me. So, we'll see. I'm going to use this tonight. In fact, I mean, i got to read some instructions, though, I guess, on charging it. Because I haven't even tried it yet. I mean, I just got it in the mail. So, I'll let you guys know, give you an update on what I think in one of my next videos coming up what I think about it. But I do like that I get all these little extra goodies on this side and that this does feel better than what I had. So I'll keep you updated. And this was very affordable, by the way. Let me tell you that. <laughs> um, and I like it comes with a zip up case. Okay, so what I have done is I did finish this. This is a scarf with the divine hat there we go and i used the touch of alpaca is this color it's called blush um the pattern is on the um the sleeve right here this came on it see it's what i'm wearing looks just like it i mean it's gorgeous i love this i love this color i made a set for my daughter i made a set for me and um is a free pattern on here. Let's see. Right there on the inside. I'm not gonna open it up, but it's right there on the inside. And so I have saved this. Oh, here's the one that I got opened up. There's the pattern on the inside. 
right there. I love it. So, um, this right here is to make a another scarf. Like, here's my daughter's. Um, and this is my mom's. And this is to make her a scarf. These are Christmas presents, by the way. Um, and I am, like, whipping these suckers out, guys. I'm trying to get ahead of the game. And this one is, I made a black one. This is for my sister, one of my sisters. That's for one of my sisters. And I have, I'm almost done with one more of these. And then I've got to do another black one. So that would be, no, I got to do just the one I'm almost done with. And then I got to do a burgundy. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five. Yes. So uh, these two are done. One more, it's almost done. And then I've got to make a burgundy hat. And that will be all the hats. And then I have to start on all the scarves. So I've gotten one scarf done. And I'll show you, sort of show you this up close. Um, how easy this is. So it basically just takes uh, one skein of the yarn. You just make that up using that whole skein so you don't have to sit there and worry about how many rows you're doing or any of that kind of stuff. Let me look at that real quick, how many yards it, does, it takes. It says um, it takes one ball um, and this one ball was the 415 yards. So you'd have to have the big one. So if you bought this alpaca because they come in two sizes. This is the 415. If you bought this in the 200 and something, you'd need two of these to make the scarf this long. That is if you want it where it can double over. And I love it this way. I mean, isn't it gorgeous? I just love wearing it this way. Um, so you would need one of these to make this. And then you'd need a small skein to make this right here. Or you could buy three of the small skeins and make this and this with three of the small skeins. So, yeah. So, um, that's all that I have on this. I uh, just wanted to update you guys on my Happy Mail. Thank you, Marsha, appreciate that. Just update you on that, keep you updated on what Christmas gifts that I am working on and uh, my progress on them. And, um, yeah. So, um, I'm gonna show you the words of life Let's see what our Bible scripture is today. I know you guys look forward to this. Um, okay. It says, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. That's in 2 Corinthians 12, 19. And, um, you know, I would encourage you to uh, get your Bible out and do a little daily Bible reading. It's good for the soul. So, um, yeah, so this time I put this one in the back. So that's all that I have in this video. Um, I will be having another video or two this week because I have more finished objects and I wanna show you my dog dress that I'm working on. It's a spring type outfit. Um, so I'll be sharing that with you guys. Um, and so yeah, that's all that I have. So please like, share, subscribe and tap the bell so you'll be notified anytime I put out a video. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed watching my video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.